most of Gaan is covered in vast, intact rainforests. In fact, the land area covered by Ghana's rainforest is equivalent to the size of England. And the country for years has been protecting those forests as part of efforts to protect the environment and slow climate change. On Tuesday at the University of Guyana, British parliamentarian Mr. David Lamy, who has Guyanese heritage, spoke about the importance of Guyana's rainforests and local conservation efforts. And as he acknowledged how important it is for the country to continue protecting those forests and wider the environment, he oversaw the inauguration of a new rainforest research center. The Sophia Point Research Center was co-founded by Mr. Lamy and his wife, Nicola. At a time when climate change and biodiversity loss threaten the region, we want to put the focus back to the rainforest and its immense benefits. And I'm in no doubt that there can be no solution to the climate crisis that is not dependent on inspiring, articulate and passionate young people from countries like Guyana to help shape future solutions. The new centre is located about two and a half hours from the capital city of Dorchung, uh, near the indigenous community of Rivers View. It is found at the confluence of the Essequibo, Cuyuni and Mazaruni rivers. Of course, Guyana already has the Iwakrama International Research Centre, which has been leading the way in forest research here in Guyana. But Mr. Lamy pointed out that other countries with large forests, such as Costa Rica and Panama, which are, by the way, smaller than Guyana, have many more research centers. So according to him, Guyana deserves more. Costa Rica, a country four times smaller than Guyana, has 44 research stations. Panama, a country three times smaller than Guyana, has 12 interconnected sites just run by the Smithsonian Institute alone. Both countries represent 60% of the size of Guyana. The British parliamentarian also pointed out that this research centre wants to boost local content. That is, it isn't one that's going to allow foreigners to come in and essentially extract the knowledge found here in Guyana. Sophia Point is not about Western scientists flying in to Guyana and flying out of Guyana, taking the science with them. We want to help to bring an end to that extractive parachute science model, to build capacity here at the university, at the community at all levels. Ghana's president, Dr. Irfan Ali, and former UK Prime Minister, Tony Blair, attended the inauguration ceremony for this new research center. And during a conversation between the two men, President Ali pointed out the importance of this research centre and also the importance of having local people, including Guyana's indigenous peoples, contribute to the research. Reporting for the newsroom from the University of Guyana's Turkine campus, I am Vishani Ragabir.